We will be opening the season with Christopher Wielden's new production of The Winter's Tale. The biggest challenge for anyone, any choreographer tackling Shakespeare is to somehow find a way to infuse that poetry into the movement and not just use the, the plot line. It is one of the most gloriously imagined and beautiful ballets I think he has ever done. We've kind of focused on the ideas of, you know, this sort of unexplained jealousy um, and the tragedy that follows from that, and then the passing of time and this beautiful redemptive ending. One of the works that has become the most popular and the most in demand internationally for the National Ballet of Canada has been our new production of Alexei Ratmansky's Romeo and Juliet. It was a call from Karen and she said that she would like me to choreograph. I never dreamed of it because there are so many beautiful versions. The music is so amazing and the theme is so huge and popular that I couldn't resist. It really is an extraordinary production visually and emotionally. I can't believe that it's 20 years since we started doing The Nutcracker. We are so lucky to have such an extraordinarily beautiful and challenging production for our company to put on stage every year. Choreographed by James Cadelka and designed by Santo Loquasto, I believe it is one of the best anywhere in the world. We still have dancers and staff who were in the original production in 1995, such as Rex Harrington, who was the original Peter. What's wonderful about still being involved with the Nutcracker, having created the role, is that I can pass on everything that I learned to the next generation. It's a little humbling when you think some of them weren't even born when I created it and now I'm teaching it to them. It has been 10 years since we've had the joy of seeing the work of Bournonville in the company's repertoire. Johann Koberg's new staging of La Sophie embraces the ballet's romantic preoccupations, but also employs the ballet's legendary virtuosity and technical challenges. The story itself presents so many questions that we all face with every day. Things like, do you stay within the comfort and the safety of your life, or do you reach for something unattainable and maybe risk everything? I think we have a very interesting selection of works for this winter's mixed program. Ruby's is the central section of George Balanchine's famous ballet, Jewels. Ruby's revels in the score's jazz-infused rhythms. I'm looking forward to Alexander Ekman's Cacti. It's a real kind of send-up of contemporary dance, full of startlingly inventive uses of space, sound, and physical design. One of Balanchine's most famous works is his Four Temperaments. Created to music by Paul Hindemith, the ballet comprises a set of variations inspired by the idea of the four humors. Principal dancer and choreographic associate Guillaume Coté has adapted Le Petit Prince as his first full-length ballet. Working with renowned designer Michael Levine with an original score by Kevin Lau, Guillaume brings to life the story of the aviator who encounters in the desert the enigmatic little prince and learns of his travels through the universe. This book is so simple in its core and uh, the creators and collaborators that I'm working with at the moment, I think we're all discovering together how beautiful simplicity is and how complicated simplicity can be. Giselle is a ballet that keeps bringing generation after generation to the theater to witness this compelling and beautiful romantic ballet. Giselle is widely regarded as the Hamlet of the ballet world, and because it's such a richly dramatic role, it not only requires the technical skills of all of the classical ballets, it also requires the artist to have an enormous range of dramatic ability. In October, the National Ballet of Canada will be touring to Montreal with a contemporary mixed program of William Forsyth's Second Detail, Marco Gucci's Spectre de la Rose, and Wayne McGregor's Chrome. And we will tour La Sophie to Ottawa's National Art Centre in April, where we perform every season. We will be participating once again in World Ballet Day on October 1st, 2015, which will see extraordinary and unprecedented access behind the scenes across the world's leading ballet companies. 
The 2015-16 season promises to be one of the richest and most exciting in years. Experience all the artistry, beauty, and surprise that it holds. Please join us.